What is up guys, it's Tom from Tech Time here, I'm back with another video. Today we're going to go over a little bit more about the Gear 360. A lot of you might be choosing this to get with your Samsung Note pre-order. It should be coming in soon, mine already came in. A lot of guys might be just, or girls might be interested in just buying it. Being able to take 360 degree video, which is pretty cool. It's becoming more popular. You can make your own content via Gear, virtual reality set, Gear VR or any other VR headset that you have. Get into it a little bit more. I did an unboxing the other day, and first to start off, a lot of people were getting these and not being able to turn them on. It's the power button, hold it, nothing happens. Plug it into the charger, nothing happens. It's becoming a common thing. The problem, from what I've found and read, I had the same issue with mine. I took, I didn't use this, but I used another USB Type-C that came with my Samsung phone. I plugged it in and I plugged it into my computer and that was the only way I could get any response from the charger. I did that, left it on overnight, charged it up fully. And now I've been able to use any power brick that I wanted and been able to have no issue. I thought the thing was broken, came back defective. I had somebody comment on one of my other videos, this did come defective. They couldn't get anything working for it. They sent it back. They got a refund. This thing's a pretty cool little camera. You can use it to shoot 360 degree video you can take still photos with the 180 let me clean off this lens with 180 degree field of view each camera has a 180 degree field of view and in processing stitches it together to make 360 degrees you can use different views depending on the way you want to film the uh, video that you're taking you can take still photos whatever you want but you can use it as a standalone if you want, you can hook it on a tripod, you can hold it like this. It comes with a little rubber stand that gets it to stand up like that. But you can also use it with your phone. Your Samsung phone, Galaxy Note 8, Samsung Galaxy S8, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, maybe even the uh, S7 Edge and those phones also. Not sure about that, but I know definitely the S8, the S8 Plus, and this beauty, Galaxy Note 8. Now what you want to do here is you want to go into your Galaxy apps. This is not the Google Play Store, this is the Galaxy Play Store that comes preloaded on your phone. You're going to click on that. Go back here. What's this? Oh boy, trying to get me to buy stuff, of course. Click search. You're going to type in Samsung Gear, and then 360 will pop up. You click on that. Now these are your apps that will pop up, and the Gear VR might also pop up. But you're going to want Samsung Gear. 360 and if you can see that Samsung Gear 360 I already downloaded it you click on that you hit install and wait for that to install gives you a little bit of uh, descriptions the Samsung Gear 360 the new app you can create view and share 360 content on your smartphone enjoy various features by connecting the 360 the app is compatible with Gear 360 new version the Gear 360 from last year connect and disconnect you can Remote shooting and preview the recording. You can do a lot of good things. Let's change settings. A lot of stuff that we're going to get into right now. So let's power this up. You hold that until that comes in. I don't have my SD card in right now, so you're going to see that. It's going to say check SD card. Gives you 97% of my battery. And it shows it's got the little uh, symbol for recording, which isn't on. So now that we got that, you're going to want to go into your, uh, where is my app? I have it over here, the Gear 360. Click on that. And the first time you open this app, it's going to have this. And you're going to want to turn your Bluetooth on. That will automatically turn your Bluetooth on when you set that up. But the first time, you're going to want to have your Bluetooth on. And that's what it's going to be linked under, Gear 360. You're going to want to pair the device and set that up. I'll go back to this. Now you're at this stage, get that set up, you hit connect. Now it's gonna connect to that. Yeah, obviously both have to be on. So just tap here to manage your new gear VR. And now you can come in, click on camera. And this is what the gear 360 
is seeing. Beautiful flowers I bought from my government for our anniversary. My kitchen. And I'm filming it right now. And you get a complete 360 degree up, down. You see right there where I'm holding it. That's where it stitches it all together. So it might be a little wonky right there. But overall, this is really good quality. Now you're going to want to, you can go in, you can change the mode. You got video, you got photo mode. So now you can take pictures by just snapping the picture right on there. Boom. Go back to mode. You got time lapse, you got landscape HDR, video looping. Let's go back to video for a second. Now you got right there. If you can see that, that little button right there, it's gonna give you dual, which it's on right now, that's dual cameras. Or you can click front. It's gonna take a second to transition, and that's just the front camera. So you can see me spinning around. You can see, now you can take video just like that with one camera, or you can take still photos with one camera. Now let's get that button again. And then that's the rear one it's going to switch to. Yeah, there we go. Switch into that. Now you're on the rear. Obviously, you're spinning around. Same thing. You can take pictures, videos with either camera. Let's go back to dual. Now we're in dual. On this side of the... At the whole app layout. It's on the bottom right-hand corner. You click that. Now this is the 360-degree view. You have the round view which is like a kind of a wonky like you're almost looking from the top view then you have stretched out which is just everything almost like full screen i actually enjoy this a lot everything's stretched but it almost is like a full screen view you got dual view which they give you both lenses on the top of the bottom of your phone so you can see both separate screens multi-window and you have panoramic. This is like a panorama photo that you would take, really stretched out, and then it stitches it in the middle. This is a nice view, not my favorite. Go back, I like the stretched or the 360. We'll go back to 360 right now. So now right here, you click that, you can start recording right off your phone. You go here, that was the modes. We spoke about earlier, different modes, you want to change them. Up here, you got HDR, on, off. White balance, you can change the white balance if you want. You can change all different settings. That's the zoom function. Then you get the, right here. You can change your video size. You can do 4K at 24 frames per second. You can do 1440, 30 frames per second. A little bit better than 1080p right here at 60 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and then you can go a lot lower. You can do slow motion, 720p at 120 frames per second, which is pretty cool on 360 degree mode. It looks really cool. Main lens and preview is the rear. You can change that to the front if you want. Video size. Oh, so, all right, so that was the dual lens video size. You're going to get the 4K in the dual lens. Single lens, you're not going to get that. You get 1080p, 60 frames per second, 1080p at 30 frames per second. I keep that at 30 frames per second, but you can change that if you want. Dual lens, you're going to get the 4K. You're not going to get that with just a single lens. You got a timer, you got your ISO sensitivity, your sharpness. You can reduce wind noise from uh, when you're recording. You can put location tags on. This is... Obviously, if you're, I'm in Massachusetts, if I'm in Boston, and I click that as I film the video, it will put a rotation tag on there that it was filmed in Boston. That's it for the camera settings. That's a little SD card because I don't have the SD card in there. But this thing is pretty cool. That would be a gallery right there. Brings you back to your gallery. There's no SD card in the 360. But you can view everything that's on the 360 through your phone. Confirm. We'll go back. You can live broadcast yourself. So you click on that. You can do a live broadcast on YouTube, Facebook, or 
Samsung VR, which is the virtual reality headset. That's pretty cool. Facebook Live, YouTube Live, cool for YouTubers. If you want to get a, you know, a vlog, you can vlog your whole life in 360 degrees. People can scroll around and see what's going on, not just from the one field of view that you're showing them. It's pretty cool. Then you get your settings. Sound and LED, you can change that. LED indicator, the volume. Get your auto power off after five minutes. Battery status, not charging, 91%. thought I said 97, 91. Storage space, no SD cards in there. You can reset and firm, uh, format it. Here's your firmware version. You can check for updates, which is probably a good idea. Insert an SD card and then try again. So you need an SD card in there for the updates. It's good to know. Get your camera settings back. And that's all the stuff that's in the app right there. Go back here and that's everything. This is the disconnect, connect to a new one. And then it actually has your user manual all digital. So you don't have to read this stupid book. Read it all online. There's plenty of YouTube videos out there to really show you a little bit more if this didn't give you anything. This was just a pretty basic run through of the app for you guys. Let me know how you like it. If you get this, got any questions, let me know. I'm still playing around with it, getting used to it. I'm going to show you, I'll, I'll post a video of me recording some stuff on this. That'll probably be one of my next couple of videos. But this thing's pretty cool. People, when you're walking around with this, people, they want to know what the heck it is. Thing looks like a little robot. And they want to know, oh, what the hell? And then when you tell them that, you, you know, you're recording 360 degree, a lot of people don't even believe you because some people don't even know this exists. You know, people that aren't following the tech world daily like most people are on these channels. They don't know that this even exists, you know, that you can record 360 degrees. And they think it's pretty wild, you know, to be able to get a complete view and then on your phone to be able to scroll through it at the same time. It's pretty cool. I think it's, you know, it may be a little gimmicky. Some people might not like it at all. Never use it. For me, I think it's pretty cool. It's something I wanted to have. Didn't have the last year's version. I got this version with the Galaxy Note 8 pre-order. And I'm liking it so far, playing around with it. like that I can control it from my phone because this doesn't have a screen on it. You can control it without a phone. Personally, I like to have the phone. I have the phone on me anyway, so if I'm going to use it, I'm going to use my phone. That's it, guys. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, catch you on the next one. Peace.